Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So this video is sort of like a, what I have been up to when I've not been filming on YouTube. So this is Reesby Country Fair and this was in August. Um, ignore that these are filmed upright. I wasn't actually filming for YouTube. So I did two classes with Darwin here. I did Condition and Turnout which was our first class and I also did the Veteran and these were both in hand classes. So in the condition and turnout, I came at third with Darwin, which I was really pleased with. And then in the veteran, this is the veteran video. So obviously there was quite a few in the veteran class, as you can see. And I was so proud because he actually came second out of all of these horses. So I was so, so very proud of Darwin and he did so good. These are just some of the clips from obviously walking for the judge and trotting. So Darwin's looking super, super cute. And already excited to trot. He does love a good truck because he was full of it because of the huntsman's horn and he was very hyped up. So here's Darwin just trotting, showing off his trot, and I was super happy with him this day. Next up, we have a jumping lesson. So this was in September, end of September. And I went for a jumping lesson because me and Darwin are doing a show cross, which you can see in a few moments time. So this is just us warming up and going over a few smaller jumps to start with and round the corner onto the two down the long side. And obviously Darwin is always excited. So he tries to go about a million miles an hour to the jumps. And um, here is a video of more or less the full course. So we're going into the first jump and just popped it nicely. I was trying to get him not to bomb at the jumps. I mean, it is quite hard because he is very strong. And then he goes down the side and obviously he gets, he tried to slow him down, but it is hard. And he popped that one also nicely. And then I try to collect him up a bit around the corner. So he does steady himself down. But then as soon as he sees the jump, he just powers towards it. And you've just got to let him go because it's just easier that way and he sort of sorts himself out. And then we will be down to the last two jumps on the long side. So you've got this first little one here and he just pops it nicely. And then this one he does get a little bit close to. But there we go. Here's some little slow-mos I thought I'd add in because why not? And then we did the little bank drop down into a little roll top. There we go. He just pops it nicely little slow-mo video for you guys because you know we all have a little slow-mo and he just pops it so gracefully and then we did the little jump in the field and then the step and then again i mean you can't so this is the day of the show cross on the 25th so this is just me and darwin in the warm-up ring popping over the little cross pole and we are just cantering round back to the other side ignore most of these videos are filmed on a phone so the quality of some of them are slightly shocking but we just have to look past that guys i'm sorry you're just gonna have to and then just bringing him back into trot and trotting round a bit because Darwin thinks he can cant around all the time and he can't then we went and did the straight and he got a bit close to that one which was my fault um and then we just come round again just cantering around all chilled and then we pop it again and he pops it so much better this time just so nicely and yeah and now it is on to the actual show jumping part which didn't exactly go to plan and you will see why in a moment, which was my fault. I just went a bit mind blank and it does happen time for time. So here we are heading to the first jump. So that's jump number one and then down to jump number two, which you just jump a little bit funny. And then round the back of that jump down onto the jump on the diagonal, which is jump number three. And he just jumps that really nicely too. Just cantering round and then he will change his diagonal in a moment. And there we go, he does his little change. And then up to the little skinny on the diagonal also. And then after the skinny is where it goes wrong. Um, coming up to jump number five. And I completely miss out jump number five and I forget. But I forget it's just as I've gone past it. So I do circle back round and pop over it. And he does pop over it rather nicely. Just went a little bit mind blank, got into the zone and completely missed it out. But it happens. And then down to a jump on the diagonal again. And he just pops that nicely. And then we're going round to the one on the long side. He's just motoring around. And he pops this nicely, I believe, also. Bit of a little long one. 
and then round to the last little double going across the diagonal and, and he does jump this first part of the double a bit funny because he gets quite close and then pops over the last one and then after this i'll just insert some little slow-mos of the bits he jumped rather nicely and then there's another one he's just so cute and he always has happy ears when he's jumping because he just absolutely loves it and he gets so so excited and he looked also mega cute in his new set that i bought for him which is super, super cute. And yeah, and this is the only clip I got from the cross-country part. And we did knock a jump down the cross-country because they were all knock down jumps. So we didn't get placed, but I had such a fun day and Darwin absolutely loved it. So we went to the beach in October and Darwin absolutely loved the beach and I also love the beach also. He just is so super fast and he just loves it. You do struggle to trot half the time because he just wants to bomb off and go fast but he just loves zoomy zoomy and he's always happy when he's going very very fast and yeah it was such a fun time. The sun was shining, it wasn't too cold and it was just such a lovely day and here is Darwin walking and actually being chilled. We stopped off for an ice cream because you can't not stop for an ice cream when you go to the beach and Darwin of course had to have a bit of ice cream because he literally will eat anything and here is Darwin finishing off the cone of my ice cream and he does drop it on the floor though but he liked it and then it was back onto the beach to head back home and they're always more fresh on the way back home because they know they're heading back so darwin was on his tippy toes of course and we had a lovely blast on the way back as you can see darwin is super super fast and it's just honestly so so fun on the beach if you haven't been i definitely recommend to do so and here is darwin obviously in the front and then we look behind and then there's everybody else galloping on the beach and he just loves it. It's so, so fun. And then after this, we did have a nice little paddle in the sea. Um, Here he is paddling in the sea. And we just had such a good time. And it's not very often you go to the beach, but when you live close to it, it is such a good place to go to. So guys, this is now the end of the video and I'm going to insert some photos and video clips as like a little collage short thing for you guys to watch at the end. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and look out for the next one. Bye!